Hi, in this video, let's talk about how to use the solver to help baking deformation for game development. Like example here, the melting effect or other simulations, some of them actually we can bake by soft method instead to use the fluid method. The biggest benefit of the soft method is you keep the topology. Not only gives you the easy way to apply the texture on since you have UV map, but also they can reduce the memory cost, which is very important for the game development. Since the soft method keeps the constant topology, you get a much better interpolation than fluid method. Like in this example, I only bake one frame. Okay, let's start it. I need to create a geometry node first. Dig in the test geometry rubber toy. I put it a little bit higher above the ground. Then select the object, then go to the with cause fluid, create the melt object, select an object, put enter key, it will automatically generate it, the auto network. Then select the object and create the ground plan. Okay. Taking this one really out, you can see we have the whole setup. The better quality just to lower the particle separation and also the scale to one. Let's take a look. The result is that good enough or not? Can review the geometry, it looks like. Okay. So right now we want to do is export the simulation as a file cache. Then we use that file cache to deformate this original geometry. So let's dig into the fluid simulation and let's take a look. I need a 240 frame. Just the 40 frame is enough for this case. Okay, here is the result pretty good uh, melting effect so I catch the file in the file catch so I will use that for the deformation baking back to the object now to create another geometry node we call that one morph So actually, we don't need a shader node here. Here, create the object merge. We need a two object merge. So one object is the object that we want to bake. We use a geometry test mesh, rubber toy, and another is the reference object which point to the file cache, the reference one. So we can hear this is the reference one. Uh, we turn off the visibility this one. So here we need to create a solver. Connect to the to the first one, the reference to the second one. And dig into the solver. So inside the solver, the first thing we need to create a switch because the first frame we want to use in port one. Then second frame we use the previous frame. So connect to here, the switch just to use the daughter frame equal one. So if the equal one, they will use the first import, which original mesh. Then we put a re use the read to do to detect the offset so that is not what we want we need to set up to use a point and not to use a projector we will use a minimum distance okay so minimum distance we use smaller value 0 0.95 and uh, we need a point interact here. So 
down with play that okay you see the point follow the reference geometry we go down like that but the result is not what we want because when they calculate the distance they only calculate the clo closest point to the reference object for each frame the point need to be smooth or relaxed in the each iteration so to do that we need to add the smooth point here smooth node between that so what a smooth node what it's doing is a smooth node in the solver will relax the point based on the position in the each iteration here we use a uniform method and we increase the quality to the three okay we back to here re simulate it this is a little bit better but uh, still have a lot of uh, sharp face there so what do we need to do actually we need to increase the sub step to the 10 now the result is much better than before we can add the normal node to recalculate the normal get a better result so after recalculate the normal that looks much better there's still some phase overlapping together after deformation but that is not a problem for the melting effect in the game so then we need to do the baking before we start to bake them I would like to save it in the file cache so I put the time wrap connect to it so the import frame range from 1 to 40 but output frame ramp I put 1 to 2 so now it just creates a non node as output out here so I changed the frame range to the 3 you can see here it will from 1 to 2 we transfer to the final shape what I want so here we create a vertex animation texture baking tool from a game develop tool the reason why I put a three frame here is because this tool always bake the information from previous frame so if I just uh, put a two frame they only bake the first one which exactly same as geometry itself the normal is same the position is same actually nothing baked there so if I want a deformation here I need to bake to the third frame which they will install the second frame information so here I set up this use the soft method and put the soft path to use the MRF out which I created before then we have the frame range is 2 is good and we bake not in the alpha if you bake normally in the alpha the precision is not good enough so we put it the power of 2 and set up the folder here and we will use the Unreal Engine so just select the Unreal Engine then we just uh, render it okay I import the texture and the mesh in the Unreal Engine and also the create the material here in the texture you can see they have a, they bake the two frame actually so the first frame is kind of like empty useless it's all gray color I mean there's nothing there it's just a normal map so you can change that uh, the compression to the vector displacement 
uh, because this is normalized data, actually not necessary to use HTR. And keep make sure you not use sRGB uh, sample there. So it should be linear color, not sRGB. It's not albedo color. So material side, I just uh, simplify the it from the original shader, which provided from Houdini, and uh, just keep what I want. And also use the diffuse texture because they have topology. Uh, they keep the UV in the first UV, it just add deformation in the second UV. So here is uh, position and here is normal. Also, I, I, for the better transform from one to other, I add a sphere mask from button extend to the top. So it looks more nature and use uh, one lower parameter to control it. So, so in here you can see that is the result here. So if I play it to the zero, it will be like before, and the one will liquid. So when I drag the value, the lerp value you can see is melted from button, then the fully melted. So the result is pretty good. That is what exactly what we want. Even that slow down the speed, that effect is good enough for me. If you want more detail or the transfer from A to B is more complicated, you probably need to bake more than one frame. It depends what you need, it depends the case. If you have a too complicated transform and the shape always change by time, it probably not work. You still use, need to use a fluid method. The key of this method is to build the deformation sequence first, then to use a solver to track the offset of the mesh from the original to the target. Okay, I hope you enjoy this video. See you next time.